It's been proved that the universe is expanding. So does that mean atoms, cells, people, stars, and everything in this universe is getting bigger and bigger? Edwin Hubble was the first guy to predict that the universe was expanding. He noticed that the more distant a galaxy is, the faster they are moving away from us. So, there is no doubt that the universe is expanding, but it is doing so in an uncanny way. Rather than matter just flying apart, the space between matter is expanding on its own. One would imagine that when space is expanding, everything else would simultaneously expand with it, in a manner similar to stretching a rubber sheet. If one stretches a rubber sheet, then anything drawn on that rubber sheet would stretch in like fashion. The more you stretch the rubber sheet, the more it stretches. In reality, the space between and inside everything seemingly increases, but the things themselves don't. It's really important to know that the inter- and intra-molecular spaces of atoms and molecules are fixed by physical laws and constants. These constants can't be tweaked. If they could, then the universe which we perceive today would have been completely different. So, the atom size is fixed, and it is supposed to remain that way. All the matter in this universe, like the gas, the stars, the waters, the rocks, etc. Everything is made up of atoms itself, and they have a stable and specific size. When space expands, a star in that space will expand as well. Although, with this, there would be a drop of density. Density equals mass over volume. Again, Due to this, there would be a drop in the nuclear fusion rate in stars. The core would cool a little, and then, the star would be free to collapse back into its desired equilibrium size. The same logic is applied in chemical bonds. While atoms in any given molecule like to be set some distance from one another, this expansion of space moves them slightly farther, but they can easily return back to the original distance. Currently, the universe is expanding at the rate of approximately 72 kilometers per second per megaparsec. That's equivalent to the distance from New York, New York to Lakewood, New Jersey. This rate is considered to be a constant and is termed the Hubble constant, which is actually not constant over a period of time because the rate gradually increases. So, the Hubble constant is a weird constant unlike other physical constants. This rate of expansion means that distances increase in size by about 0.0000000074% every year. On the scale of the observable universe, that expansion is important. It is notable to understand that this expansion doesn't mean there's anything to worry about. Presumably, our hair grows about a billion times faster than the rate at which the universe is expanding. Moreover, your atoms don't naturally compensate for your hair growth. The Hubble constant is gradually increasing, so in the future, the expansion may be noticeable on a micro level. Also, at some point in time, in the inconceivably distant future, the expansion of space may be fast enough to overcome the forces and binding energy which make the present matter to rest at equilibrium. Once the gravitational force of a star is overcome, it will fly apart. So there won't be any collection of matter like planets, stars, and galaxies, which we see right now. Everything would simply rip apart from each other. Moreover, when the electrical forces that maintain chemical bonds is overcome, then the concept of atom would just be a mere history. This unfortunate event is known as a big rip, which is just the opposite of big bang. If the expansion continues, then the big rip is inevitable. 
However, it's still a very, very long way to go before this can be the case. If you've liked Inkstall's edutainment, then go to inkstall.in and sign up for free. Producing our videos takes a lot of time. If you'd like to support Inkstall, you can do so on patreon.com forward slash Inkstall. Please refer the link below to buy Inkstall's book on space, time, and beyond.